What is going on, friends? And welcome into our special interview with Ryan Bader before his huge fight at Bellator 180 against Phil Davis for the Light Heavyweight Championship. You can watch it live on Spike TV, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, ahead of Bellator, New York City. It's going to be Sonnen versus Silva live on pay-per-view. It should be a really fun card, guys. But before we get to our interview, here's a quick message. What's up, friends? Mike here from Mercado Airwaves. If you missed any one of our past interviews with amazing guests like future Hall of Famer and pound for pound best fighter in the world, UFC flightweight champion Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. It's another day that the operator to go out there and uh, test my skill. To award-winning producer, director, and actor Orlando Jones. Orlando, how you doing, buddy? Hey, sir. I'm good, brother. How you doing? And all the other interesting guests we've had on. Joining us today is director and writer David Ferrier. Thanks so much, brother. I appreciate you having me on the show. MMA legend Chael Sonnen joins us today. Keep listening to your show. This is great. Thanks, my friend. Just subscribe to us on iTunes at Mercado Airwaves. And while you're there, please like, review, and rate us, friends. It helps so much. We also have a Patreon for anyone who would like to support the show. Just visit us at patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves and see how you can get all of our interviews ad-free and before anyone else and how you can get your business or company spotlighted on the show. Follow us on Twitter at mmercado2333. Like us on Facebook at Mercado Airwaves. Subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash mikemercado2333. And if you would like to see what we're up to behind the scenes, follow us on Instagram, mikemercado2333. Thanks for listening and all the support. He is the Ultimate Fighter Season 8 winner. He is the number one contender for the Light Heavyweight Championship. And he gets his title opportunity against Phil Davis this Saturday live in Madison Square Garden. Here is our interview with Ryan Bader. Enjoy. So tell me, man, how excited are you to uh, to get this uh, get this thing going at Madison Square Garden this weekend? Man, I'm super excited. You know, made the switch over to Bellator. It's refreshing. I am in uh, it's a different... Uh, state of mind you know i'm um, i'm super excited about it i finally get the opportunity to fight for a title you know and uh i put in the work um camp went great so there's nothing really left to do you know so it's uh it can't come soon enough the whole story was out there about the free agency and that ufc didn't uh match the offer and and you make this big jump to bellator do you think you were being overlooked for for so long man because uh you know you have the fan base you have the the pedigree you know why weren't you put in this position long ago yeah you know i kind of felt there you know i i I have lost some big fights here and there, you know, in the UFC. Um, but at the same time, there was a lot of times where I could have been put right in for a title shot. You know, um, I had won five in a row, and, and uh, you know, they said, all right, go out and win this fight. You'll get a title shot. I did that. It never happened. You know, a guy that got knocked out in his previous fight got it. You know, and uh, um, it was just one of those things where I was just kind of sick of that, you know. And, um, you know, when it came time to where I had one fight left on my contract, you know, UFC came and offered a, a renewal for my contract, and I said, ah, I think I'm going to fight it out, you know, and, and uh, fighting it out and, and then going and winning and, and kind of knowing what I wanted and ex- expected um, from Bellator. I kind of knew that they weren't going weren't gonna to match it. And so uh, when I, the day that I did that, you know, said I wasn't going to sign the UFC contract, I kind of knew that, it probably 85% that I was going to be you know, going to Bellator. So, and I was excited about that. And, uh, you know, here we are fighting Madison Square Garden, you know, for the title. So um, I made the right choice, and, and I'm, I'm excited. I'm refreshed. I feel good. And uh, now it's just time to, to seize an opportunity. Does the camp change at all when you're put into this position where you're in the most famous arena in the world, you're going against a guy that you've beaten before, but now he has the pedigree of being champion. You're going after that same goal. How is the training camp change? Does the mentality change when it's a, a championship fight? Not really, you know, because uh, every fight is a championship right, fight you right. know, for the fighter. You know, so um, it's five rounds, so we changed some things for that. Uh, I, I actually have a new coaching staff that started oh, with wow. uh, my last fight with Nogueira. And so uh, I felt like I've learned more in the last six months here than uh, um, I have previously before that in the last five years. You know, So I, I feel like I'm a new fighter, and I'm going to show that in there. And uh, But, no, I mean, every fight's huge for, for the fighter. So for this, it's just it's something you think about after afterwards. You know, it's just kind of the cherry. You know, so you go out there, you perform well, you win, and then – you know, you can enjoy getting the belt and, uh, you know, enjoy that. So, But the mentality doesn't change or anything. you got to go in there level-headed just like you do, you know, any other time you go out there and you fought well, you know. So that's the kind of mindset. And with this being the debut 
uh, your Bellator debut at Madison Square Garden for the title. Is there also that cool? And and again, I, you've always had the motivation to be the, one of the baddest dudes on the planet. But the you, we talk about the cherry on top of of the championship at MSG. What about the fact of if if or and when you win this fight? It's right after all this stuff with the UFC, almost like, hey, boys, I could have done this for you guys, too. I mean, I don't know if you're thinking about that now, but is that kind of like a cool little cherry on top in this whole this whole storyline? Yeah, I haven't even really thought about that, you know, mm. but it's, it, I would say it's more just to prove to myself and mm. everybody around me than to kind of rub it in their face. It's just kind of, um, you know, yeah, something to, to all right, we knew we could do this, you know, to for myself, for my team, for my family, friends, all that kind of stuff. So I would say it was more on those kind of lines, you know, because all I really asked for was an opportunity, you know, and uh, um, to show what I could do, you know, and and I got that here, so I'm going to make the best of it. What's up, friends? Mike here from Mercado Airwaves. If you missed any one of our past interviews with amazing guests like future Hall of Famer and pound for pound best fighter in the world, UFC flightweight champion Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. It's another day that at the office, I get to go out there and uh, test my skill. To award-winning producer, director, and actor Orlando Jones. Orlando, how you doing, buddy? Hey, sir. I'm good, brother. How you doing? And all the other interesting guests we've had on. Joining us today is director and writer David Ferrier. Thanks so much, brother. I appreciate you having me on the show. MMA legend Chael Sonnen joins us today. Keep listening to your show. This is great. Thanks, my friend. Just subscribe to us on iTunes at Mercado Airwaves. And while you're there, please like, review, and rate us, friends. It helps so much. We also have a Patreon for anyone who would like to support the show. Just visit us at patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves and see how you can get all of our interviews ad-free and before anyone else and how you can get your business or company spotlighted on the show. Follow us on Twitter at mmercado2333. Like us on Facebook at Mercado Airwaves. Subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash mikemercado2333. And if you would like to see what we're up to behind the scenes, follow us on Instagram, mikemercado2333. Thanks for listening and all the support. We're really lucky to have on Ryan Bader right now as he gets ready to fight Phil Davis for the light heavyweight championship over in Madison Square Garden this Saturday for Bellator 180 MSG. And I think not only are we lucky to have you on talk about this fight, but the fight world, MMA and boxing is obviously the biggest thing in the world right now and in all of sports. I want to ask you something right now. Uh, you have been so respected with the pedigree, with the fan base. Let me ask you this thing about the, this trend of super fights. Do you think it's good for the fighter? Do you think it's it's good for the sport? Because I tend to think every fight was a super fight when I was com- in college. You know, BJ Penn from GSP, from Anderson Silver. Yeah. It was all big time fights. But this now, this new trend of super fights. What's what's your take on, it, especially being so respected in uh, in this sport? Yeah, you know, I, th- I think it's it's good. You know, and it, it's a, just more opportunity. You know, mm-hmm. for for the fighters, if they, if they want to go out and dabble in this and super fights or even in boxing, you know, it's just uh, just more opportunities for them. You know, and it's kind of uh, um, I, I kind of look at it as more just kind of freeing up everything for them, and it's not as uh, um, kind of ran with an iron fist. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, so you got McGregor going over and fighting one of the best. You know, the best boxer of all time and making a boatload of money, you know, and, and good for him, you know, and then you have, you have just other fighters trying to better their situation and, um, whether it's get more money, put them in, uh, you know, higher status, whatever it is. So, um, I'm not opposed to them. I like watching them. And, uh, even if they're kind of like a freak show kind of fights, you know, I'll, I'll tune in to watch it. <laughs> but, uh, it kind of goes back to that, that opportunity. You right. know, it, it's good to be open. Now, I mean, uh, we'll, we'll get off this uh, Connor and Floyd thing. So, I, you know, we got some more cool stuff. But really fast, who do you got in a boxing match? You got Floyd in this? Yeah, you know, I, you know, I think he's gonna just. I think Floyd's gonna be real safe and yeah. just kind of, you know, carry him a little bit and just uh, <laughs> do uh, what Floyd Floyd does. And you know, it's gonna kind of be a little bit of a letdown, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but I think McGregor is gonna do a little better than people give him credit for because he, you know he's an MMA guy and MMA guys don't necessarily move like boxers and mm. and uh, that throws them off sometimes so um, I think it'll, it'll actually go to, to a decision. Oh, wow. Okay. Nice. Uh, Ryan, we only have you on for a few more minutes, so uh, really fast. You know, you're a big wrestling guy, MMA guy. What do you think MMA wrestling, you know, can help out in the community? I'm over here in Chicago right now, and just like everywhere in the world, there's some crazy times going on. Do you think it can help out the community? What do you think it brings in for the community? Yeah, for sure. You know, and, and uh, um, you know, being a gym, gym owner myself, I've, I've seen it, you know, help a lot of people. I've seen it help with uh, – 
um, you know, alcoholism. I've mm-hmm. seen it help with, uh, you know, gangs and such and, and keeping kids on the, the right path, you know, and, and uh, it, it's just really kind of getting in there and, and, you know, having a kid that's motivated and his, his, his mind's going and, and he's, a, he's definitely motivated, but it's putting him on the right path, whether it's, you know, all right, we're going to do, uh, we're going to train, you know, for an MMA fight, or if he's younger, you know, we're going to wrestle, we're going to do jiu-jitsu, and we're going to put it all together when you're older, and not give them the time, you know, because it's those kids that are, that are you know, have that drive, that if it's not channeled properly, that drive goes elsewhere in, into something, you know, worse or, or whatnot. So I definitely think it would help. And, you know, the fact that a lot of these guys, you know, that grew up in, in some of these neighborhoods, you know, it's, it's being tough is looked at as uh as you know a really good thing and so um you know they want to come in there and train mma and they want to do it and then you just kind of kind of feed that ryan you've been awesome my man thank you so much uh good health uh when people tune in on spike tv live at madison square garden this saturday what can they expect they're, they're gonna uh if they watch the first fight it's gonna be completely different you know i'm looking to go in there and finish a guy that hasn't been finished you know if at all and uh get that belt wrapped around my waist and then uh you know tune into pay-per-view after that you'll be excited already and raring to go so uh it'll be a good one ryan where can people and support you where can your fans follow you because you're an awesome dude you're on twitter yeah, on everything is uh at ryan bader on all my social media instagram twitter um facebook all that at ryan bader ryan good luck this weekend bring back the belt so we can have you next time we could talk some more fun stuff my brother hell yeah thank you a huge thank you to ryan darth bader for joining us today catch him at Bellator 180 against Phil Davis for the light heavyweight championship. It airs live on Spike TV, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, ahead of Bellator NYC, Sonnen versus Silva, live on pay-per-view in Madison Square Garden. You can follow Ryan everywhere at Ryan Bader. What a fun guy. What a fun interview, and good luck to him. Hopefully you all enjoy Bellator 180 and Bellator NYC on Spike TV and live on pay-per-view. Thank you all so much for joining us today. You can follow us everywhere in the universe. I'm on Twitter at mmercado2333. Like us on Facebook at Mercado Airwaves. Please do us a huge favor. Subscribe to us, rate us, like us, review us on iTunes, Mercado Airwaves. There you can see all our past interviews with greats like Demetrius, Mighty Mounts Johnson, Chael Sonnen, Chris Weidman, Orlando Jones, David Ferrier, and many more. We're also on Patreon, patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves. If you want to support us, if you want to get these interviews ad-free and before anybody else, Find the tier that you want, and please support us. We appreciate everything you guys do. And, of course, subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash Mike Mercado 2333. And if you'd like to see behind-the-scenes stuff and all the cool things that we're up to here at Mercado Airways or Outreach Radio Chicago, follow me on Instagram, Mike Mercado 2333. Thank you to Bellator. Thank you to the folks in New York. Enjoy the fight, and we will see you next time. What's up, friends? Mike here from Mercado Airwaves. If you missed any one of our past interviews with amazing guests like future Hall of Famer and pound for pound best fighter in the world, UFC flightweight champion Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson, you know, David, the opposite, to go out there and uh, test my skill. To award winning producer, director, and actor Orlando Jones. Orlando, how you doing, buddy? Hey, sir. I'm good, brother. How you doing? And all the other interesting guests we've had on. Joining us today is director and writer David Ferrier. Thanks so much, brother. I appreciate you having me on the show. MMA legend Chael Sonnen joins us today. Keep listening to your show. This is great. Thanks, my friend. Just subscribe to us on iTunes at Mercado Airwaves. And while you're there, please like, review, and rate us, friends. It helps so much. We also have a Patreon for anyone who would like to support the show. Just visit us at patreon.com slash Mercado Airwaves and see how you can get all of our interviews ad-free and before anyone else and how you can get your business or company spotlighted on the show. Follow us on Twitter at mmercado2333. Like us on Facebook at Mercado Airwaves. Subscribe to us on YouTube, youtube.com slash MikeMercado2333. And if you would like to see what we're up to behind the scenes, follow us on Instagram, MikeMercado2333. Thanks for listening and all the support.